Welcome to Worship Tutorials. We have presets and captures based on this monster of an amplifier, the Marshall Super 100. Oh, 
Marshall Super 100 JH. It has the letters JH in there because it is a faithful recreation of one of Jimi Hendrix's amps that he famously played live and in the studio. The amp that Jimi played started its life out as like a 60s JTM 45 and in an effort for them to get just insane volumes and for the amp not to break when he would tour, they overbuilt it and overbuilt it and eventually it became this 100 watt plexi type of thing and then he ran it through a full stack so the super 100 jh is a 100 watt jtm style amplifier through two 412 cabinets bradford is sitting on one of the 412 cabinets right now this is the oversized cab behind me you can see the slant cab that has the amp sitting on top of it. Uh, the, the cabs kind of have a little bit different sound, each one of them, but they're both loaded with four UK made Celestion G12Cs, which are speakers that uh, Celestion specially made for this amp, for Marshall, uh, to sort of emulate Jimi Hendrix's uh, vintage greenbacks. And these cabs are magic. The amp is magic. It sounds amazing. Now I know through the digital world, you're not gonna quite be able to get the experience that we did plugging into it. But mm -hmm. just so you know, this was, this was what I would say is like, every guitar player's dream to plug into. When you hear it, the sound, the power, I mean, it was loud. It's not just about being loud though. I've heard loud things and they don't sound good. This is the loudest amp I've ever this played This is in insanely life. loud. Yeah. It is paint peeling to the nines. It is an insanely good sounding amp, very dynamic. And with the Gen 2 process also, mm -hmm. I really think those dynamics shine through in a way they never have before. The note yeah. separation, the clarity, the punch, you could roll your volume knob back. All great things. Another thing to note though, that I just wanna make sure people know, Brian, this is not a Jimi Hendrix signature patch. Thank you for saying that. Yes. This that, is- That might come later. Who knows, that's not our forte. But this amp is just, it was just too cool to not get yeah. and to put into the digital world. The amp itself, it's its sort of a three channel amp. It's like a, it's like a Plexi or a JTM 45. You can plug way. into the bright channel or the bright input, you can plug into the normal input, and then you can jump them both together. Uh, the bright channel being the high treble channel. So we've actually captured and tone matched all three channels for all the things. Yeah. So if you run a capture device like a Quad Cortex, Tonex and Kemper, uh, Headrush Prime, for example, um, you're gonna get a captures of all three channels. And we actually did captures for uh, QC, Tonex, and uh, Kemper, we did captures in the low input as well, because it gives you a little more, it's, it's like more clean headroom. Yeah. So for the, the preset-based devices like, you know, Helix, Axe Fx3, FM9, FM3, all these kinds of things, we've built presets around all three channels. So you're actually getting like three complete presets in one. With, with this release. You're getting one based on the, the bright channel, the high, the, the high treble, one based on the normal, one based on the jumped channels. Now, most Marshalls that I've played, uh, the bright channel is like, take your head off way too much treble. The normal channel is like, it sounds like this, there's no treble. So um, this one is unique in the fact that like, all the channels all sound really good. Yeah. The bright channel is, is brighter than the normal, of course. Uh, but it's not too bright. It's not so bright that it's like piercing with a single coil type guitar. It just sounds really good and jangly. The normal channel is darker, smoother, but there's still a lot of treble in it. It's still bright enough that that comes through. The jump channel has more gain uh, as, as you get when you jump these kind of amps together. So it's gainier all the way through, but you get sort of, you know, shades of both of them. And we've included that for all the modelers and all the devices. I know that like a lot of times when people sell stuff, they'll be like, this is the best sounding thing we've ever made and all this kind of thing. This is legitimately 
one of the best sounding amps I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm not, I don't know if it's my favorite amp. I've always said that the 94 C30 is my favorite amp. Maybe I'll hold to that. But this is by far the best sounding Marshall thing. It is the most I've cathartic ever experience that I've experienced playing an amp. It is unreal to stand in front of this thing and play it. Yeah. And with the way that we've captured it and created these tone match presets, as Bradford said earlier, they came out really good and they really do sound like this amp. And a lot of it has to do with like these speakers and these cabs and that kind of thing. But this is a good one. Don't sleep on this release. If Even if you don't know that you like the Marshall sound, you're gonna like this sound. I guarantee it. <laughs> you're just talking about the speakers. Yeah. Yes, Th yeah. that is, there's some magic there. So if you're somebody who doesn't prefer to buy presets and pre-made things, or maybe you have a unit like an Iridium and you wanna load in IR files, yeah. we IR to this bad dude. These so two there's, cabs. there's two cat. Each cab has been IR'd, turned mm -hmm. into IRs. It's in one pack. You're going to get that. If you want to get any of these presets, any of the stuff you heard today, though, as always, links are below or head over to worshiptutorials.com. Make sure you subscribe. We do more than make presets, but either yes, way, we do. we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.